Tom Terry done by Digby. This is going to be the second match between Doodle and Doolife. And Doodle looking overwhelmingly strong in game one. Let's see if Doolife can recover. And I got to say, I was, I was curious about Doolife's ability to apply pressure in the mid-game versus Doodle's current level of play, and Doodle showing some fantastic troop movements and decision-making and troop positioning just across the board. I love it. This is going to be on Overwatch, which is one of those maps I'm like, is this even in the map pool? Yes, it is in the map pool. It tends to be an auto-ban because it is a less well-known map. Standard wide natural expansion that, uh, for some reason, I'm thinking of Luna, very old map. Unbuildable terrain out here to avoid proxy sort of stuff. You do have a base that has the double ramp entrance to the north. But also, the really the main feature of this is the you've got a teeny bridge here, which is somewhat easy to defend. But otherwise, it makes for a deceptively long travel path for a lot of troops, where because siege tanks, other things, can shut down these ramps fairly easily, troop movements kind of end up winding in a long S. And it's kind of a surprisingly long distance otherwise. And this might have been do life's pick, so Doodle might have been thinking, okay, initial pylon down, I want to go ahead and sneak, maybe get a gas steal. Actually, gas steal could be very powerful on this map, considering the strength of siege tanks and mines and everything else, but do life on top of it, able to prevent it, immediately seeing that probe. Good play on do life's part, especially recognizing how important gas is on this map, because one thing on Overwatch, and I've got to assume this is do life's choice. As you can just see with the architecture on the map, the, the little mini ramp right here. The kind of odd high ground in the middle where siege tanks and mines and vultures, everything can be really, really powerful in the mid game. So it is possible this is going to favor do life style of play. But I understand the logic behind the gas still here. We got a Nexus. I think that was a 12 Nexus from Doodle behind this, so wanted that gas deal to try to slow down follow-up factory units. Doodle holding up short. We'll see once he has this initial marine out if he also sends that SCV scout out. I will say if there's one player I was going to choose to take out a cross-spawn 12 Nexus on a map like this, I would say Do Life's the guy to do it. See how solid his response is. Unfortunately, this is again Overwatch, which has those deceptively long travel distances. SCV wandering out. He's not going to like what he sees. Double gateway as far as a follow-up. And an SCV has been pulled off gas. Typically, what you'll see Terran players do is just kind of concede the early game economic advantage and grab a quick command center as a follow-up. We'll see if Do Life opts to do so. I see no movements to add additional units. Nope. Okay, now we're seeing a little bit more of a movement into gas. We got two SCV on gas. Now three. So I do believe Dulife is thinking about following this up with factory pressure rather than opting for dropping that command center to follow. Cybernetic score wandering, and we do have a couple probes saturating that natural. Machine shop down. First zealot, sorry, another probe making its way across. First zealot on the low ground. And four marines marching out. At the very least. Well, I was going to say going to be able to take out that probe. But the probe going to be able to wander free. And now do life emptying. Running with SEVs. That probe is in fact going to spot it. So at least knows what's coming. A single vulture being produced. Sorry, two vultures being produced. So it's going to be Vultures, Marines, and SCVs. Kind of like this decision rather than another decision. A little bit of distraction for me wandering in the background. The SCV, although damaged, is going to get wiped out and be able to spot the troop positioning, making its way across. Marines having trouble. Yeah, that ramp is a challenge to walk across. Another reason I like the 12 Nexus on this map. Because of all the clog that can happen right there. Two Dragoons out. And two Zealots. And it takes a while to get to buildable terrain. So I think Doodle might have defended this. We'll see, though. Marines mixing it up. Zealots boxing out. It's kind of a weird change of pace here. The Zealots getting wiped out by those Marines. Two Dragoons wiping out what's left. Probes able to get behind and take care of the Vultures as well. And with that, 
Yeah, Doodle able to stop this attack by forcing bad troop movement from Doodle over that bridge. Great encounter location. I think Doolife, I'm not sure if maybe he was a little bit less aware of the lack of build buildable terrain because he was really going to have to shove it forward to be able to leapfrog the bunkers. More vultures in production, but Doodle taking this opportunity to go ahead and clog up this location to make it even more challenging to pressure forward. And he is, wow, really being aggressive with this. SCV's on top of the Dragoons again, but saying, okay, if you only have vultures as far as a follow-up, my Dragoons are going to reign supreme in sufficient numbers. Needs to take out that mine. Does get it. Additional Marines starting to press out. A Siege Tank finally taking the field. For do life. SV actually getting a good amount of damage. It was just sticked. We just stuck on those Dragoons the entire time. Peeling away HP, but a lot of damage done by Doodle. Second Factory up for Dew Life. Does have Siege Tech whirling, but he is in a bad position. He's expended a lot of troops. He's behind in the supply count. Is back an expansion. And the Dragoon count is increasing. Dew Life massively behind. So two factories, and it looks like he's just going to try to pump what troops he can. Doodle using this opportunity with his fresh troops to go ahead and stage forward. And yeah, all he has to do is delay. Delay, delay, delay. Already has that robotics facility up, working on a shuttle, getting that robotics support bay. I think he realizes he doesn't have to worry about mines as much as he has to worry about seed shanks getting some sort of purchase on that forward ramp. And as long as he can do some sort of bomb, zealot bomb or otherwise... Gonna have some success. A vulture sneaking through the long way. There are blockades. It looks like he's got that observatory as well. But potentially, if he can lay some mines, yeah. Might be able to get a victory by forcing these dragoons to walk back across their own minefield. See if they spot it or not. Moving forward, one dragoon trying to clear. Gives its life to go ahead and get the other two Dragoons back across. Some Zelts marching forward, but do life going to beeline, this time recognizing, okay, I don't want to try to fight over that ramp. Instead, ooh, nice little BSL here. Etched into the... I, I've never noticed that before. Very nice. Very suave. Sea Shanks moving to the north to try to establish a position. The shuttle trying to wander forward to find the Sea Shanks, but they're already at that northern border. It is all in from Dewlife from this stage. Mines peeling forward. Vultures sweeping across, getting mines lowered to the south. Mine drag into the siege tanks. A lot of the Dragoons getting wiped out by the mines planted behind. A Reaver slow moving. Two Dragoons left and a Reaver versus the two siege tanks. The shuttle is empty, but with that, Dewlife going to have to reposition. evacuating for this moment. So Doodle, having just that shuttle and that Reaver left, and no anti-air otherwise, able to halt that attack. Some vultures steaming forward, but Doodle just sealing himself in. Double the worker count currently. Sea Shanks trying to make their way all the way back just to stop this Reaver, but not going to happen. And honestly, at this life... At this life. At this point, I think Do Life should probably GG. Trying to get that third factory. Oop, shuttle taking some free damage. I think Doodle getting a little bit lackadaisical with this. But yeah, wandering up to go ahead and grab a third base. 71 supply to 34. In a great position now in the mid-game. Four gateways up and whirling. Two stargates. Let's see if this is going to be a tech switch. He can go to Arbiters or he can go to Carriers here if he wants. I'm going to assume he's going to go to more early game Arbiter. But natural expansion not even online for Life. Skipping it, going for five factories. So wants a mid-game flood of mech units to try to win it from there. I think that is his better option. This absolutely puts them all in. Because I think this is all you can... I think... This is just about all you can economically sustain off one base and might even want to distance mine a little bit to make it happen. A vulture sneaking up to go ahead and deny that third at the 12 o'clock location. 
Now keep in mind, if you deduct 20 here, that's 56 versus 50. So not a massive troop count lead here for Doodle. Single Dragoon wandering up behind the pylon blockade to go ahead and clear out that vulture. Two additional gateways plop down, so do life might have a shot at this. But considering Doodle's positioning, his troop movement, everything up to this stage, it's going to be a rough shot. Reaver contending with that vulture to the 9 o'clock location as well. And Doodle might want to hold short and trying to grab this base. Siege tanks on the move. Observer sees them making their way across the map. Dragoons going across this side of the bridge. It's a potential location to engage. I don't see a lot of troops out for Doodle. He does have double Reaver and shuttle. Looks like he wants to try to cut off reinforcements. Is he going for a base trade? Vulture sweeping through across that 9 o'clock location. More reinforcements. Maybe just realizing he can go ahead and attack that natural expansion with what he's got. Maybe defend this attack with what's left. Vulture's flooding through. A lot of mines planted. Able to take out at least two Dragoons. Now those troops returning to home base from Doodle. Doodle thinking, second uh, thinking more of it, especially with those Dragoons that are wiped out. Now Dulife able to be on the opposite side of the ramp. But two Reavers... Able to pelt the Siege Shanks. Only two left. And it looks like that is going to be it. For Dulife Siege Tank push. Unfortunate. He's got maybe one last hurrah. Doodle otherwise carving that up nicely. Especially with those Reavers as they were able to enter the fray. Two SCV actually wandering down to... Like, this war is over. I'm going back home. Vultures being engaged, they at least want to try to deny that 12 o'clock location. Double Reaver, once again, hovering and threatening this army back. And Doodle is just bullying Do Life back now. Getting free siege tank kills. And the natural expansion is still not even online for Do Life. He's honestly a handful of minutes away from his main mining out, at which point. It'll be a hard GG. Some vultures able to sl slip through the gaps. There are dragoons to go ahead and engage across the other location. They might be able to get the probe kill, but I don't think they're going to be able to stop that Nexus from going up. However, Doodle, in the meantime, with that Reaver across the south, he can probably find some space across that northern edge to go ahead and disrupt the main. Also trying to disrupt that natural expansion. And he's got to feel like he's in a good position, seeing that natural's not even up. Vultures, yeah, able to kill that probe, but with some patience, might be able to push things in. A reaver, only one reaver making it out of that shuttle. So one of the reavers taken out inside. Kind of a hidden turret to the south, but not enough troops for do life, it looks like, to go ahead and get back and defend this. Or at least it's taking some time and some SCVs, precious SCVs, dying. With what's left, reaver finally wiped out. Interior to the base. That's leaving 21 SCVs huddled. Not even saturating the minerals otherwise. This is this is basically what is left of Dulice Army. He's got some vultures and some mines. Moving out with another group. Third base is online, not yet saturated. Some dragoons. I think Doodle getting a little bit sloppy here. 88 supply. Another shuttle making its way out. Actually going plus one weapons here. Is he going to build scouts? No, he's going carriers. Has the fleet beacon. Honestly, could go scouts at this stage if he wanted to. Clearing out to the north, the vultures looking to shoot the gap, maybe to go ahead and sneak in. I kind of like Overwatch, actually, as if he can get into these mid games, kind of has some interesting troop movements. Also, there's an observer that's tacked across the factory line, so Doodle can see what troops are being produced and in what numbers. I'm going to say, I said it before, I'm like, he's got one more push, but I'm going to say, like, legitimately now, this feels like Dulife's last push, potentially. Shuttle's empty on this side of it. Dragoons sweeping in from that right-hand side. Dulife drawing back to go ahead and take out that Dragoon force. But Carrier is now taking the field, and there's no anti-air whatsoever for Dulife. I don't even see Goliath in production. 
so they can kind of slowly chunk their way through those siege tanks, and the siege tanks gotta have to run into headlong into the dragoon forces. Yeah, there's a GG from Do Life. Doodle up a quick two games, and is one game away from a Hasu League cha uh, championship attempt. Fun matches thus far. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.